Now, let us proceed with uh, problem number 5. A 150mm diameter rivet resists a shear force of a rivet. Resist a shear force, shear of 8 kilonewtons. Find the average shear in the rivet. Now, what will be the answer? Okay. Let us see. So, meron ka daw size ng rivet. That is the diameter. Wala kang binigay na, ano? That is solid, ah. Solid. Solid circular. And then, meron kang force. So, for the average shear, the shear stress or SS will be equal to the force applied divided by projected area. Now, the force applied is the normal force over the circular cross-section. Okay. Now, SS will be equal to yung F, 8,000 newtons, divided by pi over 4, D squared. D is 150 mm squared. So, that is in uh, tignan natin kung ano lalabas sa kanya. Okay. Let us solve. So, 8,000 divide by pi divide by 4 times <coughs> 150 squared. So that will be in MPA. <clears throat> so, 0 0.452074 Newton per millimeter squared. Or MPA. Pero, sa problem, it is asked that it should be in KPA. So we will multiply this with 1,000. Okay, so 452, 452.7074 kN Pascal. Okay. Then, let's go to the other problem. Number 6. Okay, so, uh, sinag ko ito agabi. Erase natin, okay? Given a shear stress of uh, 35,000 kPa and the shear modulus of 75 GPa, the shear strain is most nearly. And the yung shear strain. So, strain, ang tinatanong, that is non unit. So, you will use Hooke's law. So, ang Hooke's law is S. Yeah, C. You see, kapag works low. Now, uh, meron tayong stress. Meron tayong modulus. Oh, so, this is G. Okay? Pagawin natin. Works low. Okay? This is G. Okay. So, ito rin yun. S in shear is equal to G in shear tapos yung P in shear. Now, SS is, uh, ang inahanap natin is strain. So, E, S, or strain. This will be SS divided by GS. Okay. SS is 35,000. APA. So, this will be times, divide ko na lang 1,000. Okay. APA. Times, 1,000 APA, 1 MPA. Convert ko na lang, ganun. Tapos, meron kang 75 GPA. Multiply ko na lang 1,000, 75,000 MPA. So, all units are cancelled dahil ang strain is non-unit. So, let us simplify. Okay, this will be uh, 35,000, 
75,000 times 75,000. Okay, that will be 4.4 equal to 0 0.1234 Four number one two three number seven. Okay. For a one hundred twenty five millimeter cube, one hundred twenty five millimeter cube. What is the most nearly the maximum allowable load F? If the factor of safety is one point five and the yield compressive stress is twenty thousand six hundred seventy kPa. Now. You are given yield stress, okay? 20,670 ABA. Meron kang factor of safety, 1.5. And then meron kang uh, X equal to Y equal to Z, 125 mm. Okay, so you have to draw first the cube. Let's draw the cube. So all the elements of the cube are the same. Okay? You have 125 here. You have 125 here. And you have 125 here. Now, nasaan yung loading mo? Ibig sabihin dyan, yung loading mo na F, nandito pa taas. Load. Yeah. Okay. Now, what will be your calculation? Diba, i-diniscuss ko yan kagabi. Diniscuss ko kagabi na ang factor of safety will be equal to yung iyong yield over allowable. Discuss ko yan, okay? You have to remember, you are given the yield strength and then the allowable strength. Okay? And then the FS. Now, ahanapin mo kung nasaan yung iyong, ano, yield. Okay? Ah, yun pala. Wala ka palang allowable, okay? So, wala ka nitong allowable. Yan. Wala kang allowable, so, solve natin siya. Okay? Now, we will solve for the allowable SA. That will be SY over FS. Now, for calculation, yung SY natin is 20,670. 20,670. Ilo pascal. Okay? Divided by 1.5. So, you'll arrive with natin 2670 divided by 1.5 so 1 uh, 13,780 that is your allowable strength and now you will solve for the normal okay. tignan nyo ha, saan ba Anong fiber ba? Anong part ng iyong uh, cube ang tinatamaan? Siyempre, yung cross-sectional area lang. Ito lang yun. Square pa rin naman yun. Okay? Square pa rin naman yung tinatamaan. So, you will have to get the ano nung square, nung area ng square. Okay? So, for SA, okay, equal pa rin naman to, di ba, sa force over area. Now, Yung force, meron na tayo. Yung area, meron na rin tayo. Okay? Ay, hindi. Yung force pala nga hanapin natin. So, the force is equal to S A times the area projected. Okay? Times. This will be 1, 3, 7, 8. Kilo newton per meter squared. Now, i-divide na lang natin. Okay? Excuse me. Yung 125, 
divide natin ng 100 para wow, 1000 para mag meter times 125 1000 meter okay. now maka cancel yung meter maka lalabas na lang yung kilo nyo okay. 13780 hindi ko dinivide to 1,000 okay. So this will be This will be okay. 215.3125 215 215.3125 Kilo nyo po Okay that is problem number seven.